our goal is that a woman should never have an experience with, her breast, can with breast cancer again throughout her lifetime, regardless of her presentation initially. We even treat women with very, very small tumors because certain treatments, in particular the anti-estrogen treatment, otherwise known as hormonal therapy, may also decrease the risk for a new breast cancer on the opposite side by as much as 50%. These treatments are considered to be relatively safe and well tolerated, but nothing comes for free. All treatment has the possibility of side effects. Since chemotherapy affects rapidly dividing cells, it cannot discriminate between healthy cells and those that are not healthy. So cells in your body that are constantly being renewed are affected. Not every cell in your body is being renewed. Certain, certain cells are never renewed. Cells that are rapidly dividing and have rapid turnover are the hair on your head, which grows at a much more rapid pace than the other body hairs. As such, you may lose your hair on your head. You may or may not lose your eyebrows, eyelashes, and pubic hairs or other body hairs. Your bone marrow, the factor which makes your blood cells, is affected, so your white count will go down somewhere between one week and two weeks after treatment. During a time you may be called neutropenic. If your white count is very, very low and you have a fever, you may need to be hospitalized even if you feel fine. We now have ancillary treatment known as growth factors, a granulocyte colony stimulating factor, either Neupogen or Nulasta, which may help decrease this time period where one is at risk to have low blood counts. And as such, you feel better. People may become anemic. In breast cancer, quite often, we are no longer giving drugs such as Procrit, which is a red cell growth factor. Your platelets may go down low, so you may have a difficulty clotting. Your blood, so we tell you not to take aspirin during this time period. The cells that line your gut are constantly being renewed, so you may get mouth sores and or diarrhea. Another way of looking at this is your factory that is dynamic is shut down briefly. Your supply that's out there will diminish. The factory goes up right away again, and a new supply will come in. Menopausal symptoms include mood swings, irritability, hot flashes. Some women are really incapacitated by hot flashes. Some just find it very difficult to sleep. You may get what is known as the female your postmenopausal urogenital syndrome. Many women complain of vaginal dryness, decrease in libido, related to the decrease of estrogen on the sexual organs. Vaginal dryness may be managed with lubricants, exercise. For many women, their quality of life is really disrupted due to these complaints. However, we do not like to give estrogen supplementation if we can avoid it. For some women who are on tamoxifen, we do consider small doses of vaginal estrogen, but we do not like to give systemic estrogen replacement. There are medications that we can give women to help improve their quality of life and manage the side effects of menopause. Many studies have been done to date. Some of the antidepressants work, such as Effexor. Some of the other antidepressants, such as Paxil, and Prozac may actually interfere with tamoxifen, so we're more concerned about using them. There's an anti-seizure medication called Neurontin, which may help some women manage their hot flashes. Also, exercise, losing weight, avoiding spicy foods, decreasing alcohol intake and stress are very important for maintaining quality of life and decreasing some of these symptoms. Management of the side effects of treatment has, has really improved over the past years, and we work as a team with the patient to try to keep their quality of life as good as possible and to lead a long, healthy life.